Hello everyone, welcome to Vishesh Educational Videos. In this video, I am explaining about generalization and inheritance. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. To get the notification of my new videos, please click the bell icon. And please don't forget to like the video and please don't forget to share the video with your friends. So let me begin the explanation of generalization and inheritance. So what is a generalization? So generalization means it's a relationship between a class and one or more variants of the class. In simple words, generalization means it's a relationship between superclass and the subclasses. Now you can ask a question. What is a superclass and the subclasses? So uh, superclass means uh, it's, it will be having some common feature subclass is going to inherit the common features of the super class that's why generalization organizes classes by their similarities and differences either it can take the similarities or differences it will group it will group the super class uh, it's uh, yeah it will group all the similarities into a super class all the similar similarities can be inherited by the subclasses simple words i will take the example you will understand that so generalization means it's a relationship between a super class and a subclass super class will contains the similar features all the similar features will be grouped in a super class subclass is going to inherit the similar features from the super class that is generalization so you know that the super class holds common attributes common operations and common associations so all the common attributes all the common operations uh, we, all the associations will be grouped into a super class the subclass can inherit that common attributes operations and associations and also subclasses can add their specific details to the super class details also subclasses can inherit the common attributes along with that common attributes subclasses can add their own details also I will explain with the example, no worries. That's why I told you each subclass will inherit the features of its super class. Right? So I will take up the example. Now we will easily understand. Right? Here, this is the uh, example. Uh, first example I am explaining here. This is the equipment. Uh, uh, equipments. Uh, hard uh, equipment uh, generalization I am explaining here so next I will explain the generalization of the geometrical uh, figures right first uh, I will uh, explain this uh, notation how to denote the generalization in a UML unified modeling language then I will take up the example so usually we have to use large halo or arrowhead uh, we have to use a large hollow arrowhead to denote the generalization. The arrowhead points to the superclass. See, this is the arrowhead. See, this arrowhead denotes the generalization. This arrow is not filled. This arrow is hollow. This arrow is hollow. You can see here the arrow always points to the superclass. So here in this example, equipment is my super class. Pump, heat exchanger and tank are my subclasses. That is the notation. We use large halo, large halo arrowhead to denote generalization. The arrowhead den uh, always points to super class. Right? First I will take up the example one by one see here so here uh, my uh, super class is the equipment so what are the attributes of this uh, 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 
super class equipment the uh, attributes of the super class equipments are name manufacturer weight cost so this pump heat exchanger and tank are the subclasses of the equipment you can ask a question now what are the common feature a, a pump can inherit common feature a pump can inherit is pump is also equipment heat exchanger is also equipment tank is also equipment equipment every equipment will have a name see see the name name from the equipment can be inherited pump the name is inherited heat exchanger the name is inherited tank the name is inherited see name attribute is inherited by the subclasses every subclasses inherited the name attribute what are understanding like every pump sorry every subclass like pump heat exchanger tank can inherit the manufacturer details see manufacturer pump manufacturer details heat exchange manufacturer detail tank manufacturer details can be inherited from the equipment super class all this tank heat exchanger pump subclasses can inherit the manufacturer details from the super class equipment for pure understanding guys in the same way pump is a super class here what are the subclasses of a pump centrifugal pump plunger pump right diaphragm pump so these are the subclasses of a pump what are the feature this subclasses pumps can inherit so centrifugal pump can inherit the suction pressure in the same way plunger pump can also inherit the information of a suction pressure from the super class pump it is possible you can see tank is a super class here what are the subclasses of a tank spear uh, sorry uh, spherical tank pressurized tank floating roof tank right see diameter so see of the volume volume can be inherited volume information of the tank can be inherited by this spherical tank also it can use the same information and along with that also diameter can also be used what i am trying to say is spherical tank can use the information of volume and pressure also along with that it can add its own information diameter also that is possible right see here they showed the inherited details you can see here right heat exchanger name manufacturer see name manufacturer of heat exchanger name and the manufacturer details are not part of the heat exchanger name and manufacturer are the part of the equipment super class the name and the manufacturer details are inherited from the equipment super class by the heat exchanger see hope you are getting guys right so this is a generalization a uh, super class having the features that can be inherited by the subclasses right this is the first example in the same way i will take up the second example see here the second example is inheritance of uh, graphic figures that is geometrical figures so i am going to explain now inheritance of that right see uh yes this is the here what is the super class here figure my figure is a super class what is the subclasses of the figure here zero of your figure can be zero dimensional uh, one dimensional two dimensional what based on uh, based on dim dimensionality what is the general characteristics here the general characteristic is dimensionality based on the dimensionality i am uh, Uh, i am dividing by uh, subclasses right see here 
the word written next to generalization line in the diagram that is dimensionality is a generalization set name so what is the generalization set name here dimensionality based on which what is the common characteristics here dimensionality is the common characteristic i used to uh, divide my superclass and the subclasses based on the general characteristic dimensionality right i grouped sorry 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 now see here so based on the dimensionality here what is the common feature dimensionality is common for sub uh, super class here so based on the dimensionality only i am dividing the sub classes hope you are understanding i don't want to confuse you guys right here figure is the super class see zero dimensionality uh, the figure one dimensional figure two dimensional figure is the sub classes here the color of the figures uh, center position pen thickness all these attributes can be inherited by the sub classes like zero dimensional one dimensional and two dimensional all this can inherit these features of the super class figure in the along with the uh, common features of a figure uh, extra details like orientation scaling fill all these details can be added by the sub classes in the same way see here one dimensional is a super class here uh, again uh, super class one dimensional sub classes are what line is a one dimensional arc is a one dimensional figure spline is a one dimensional figure point is a zero dimensional figure point is a sub class of zero dimensional super class polygon and circle are the sub classes of two dimensional super class right you can see here display not only the attributes can be inherited by the sub classes see operations can also be inherited by the sub classes here what is the operation uh, what are the operations of the super class figure move select rotate display you can observe here the operation display of the super class figure is inherited by the sub classes point also line also arc also spline also polygon also circle also you can see same display same display operations can be inherited by sub classes from the super class figure hope you are understanding now so this is generalization i am arranging the classes as super class and the sub classes sub classes can inherit the features of the super class right you can see move select rotate or display are operations that all sub classes inherit i told you already i told display how the display is used here you can see rotate is also inherited circle is inherited the rotate uh, operation also hope you are understanding guys scale scaling applies to one dimensional and two dimensional figure a scaling doesn't applies to zero dimensional figure see scaling that's why scaling is the present scaling operation is present only in one dimensional and two dimensional figure scaling not applies to zero dimensional figure getting guys fill applies to only two dimensional figures fill means what uh, for example circle you can fill the color for the circle that's why fill applies to only two dimensional figure for a line how you can fill line is a one dimensional figure you can't fill the color for a circle for a rectangle polygon rectangle is a polygon for a triangle uh, for all those objects you can fill the color that's why fill applies to only two dimensional figures hope you are understanding guys why what is the main advantage of generalization generalization has three main purposes has three main advantages to support the polymorphism polymorphism means what one one feature can be used in different different forms for example in this example you can see here 
I uh, used the display operation once in the figure. The same display operation is used by the subclasses. This is polymorphism. One thing many forms. Display is only one thing here in the figure. Same display can be used in all the subclasses. So that's why polymorphism is uh, to support the polymorphism generalization is used and I can inherit right inherit means what subclasses can inherit the feature of the superclass that means reusing reuse of code is possible for example display the code of the display is in the figure the same code of the display is used by the zero dimensional one dimensional and two dimensional subclass what is there that is reuse that is reuse of the code same code of the display is used by zero dimensional one dimensional and two dimensional subclasses so we can use the code we can reuse the code if we use a generalization that is the second advantage third advantage to structure the description of the objects see i can here organize the objects based on the uh, basis of their similarities and differences based on the level c here i organized the objects based on their level of generalization see this is the first level sorry sorry this is the first level this is the second level this is the third level this is the fourth level see each level is going to generalize each level is going to sh give some similarities uh, show some similarities or show some differences each level is going to give some details this level detail is different this level generalization is different this level detail is different this level sorry this uh, this this level uh, detail is different each level is going to give different different details based on different different generalization each level is going to give different different information between uh, about uh, superclass and the subclasses each level is going to give different different information that is nothing but you can give the description of the objects based on their level of generalization hope you are getting guys right next subclass may override the superclass feature by defining a feature with the same name what is the meaning of that subclass may override a superclass feature by defining the feature with the same name for example here display same display information all these subclasses can override the display of the superclass figure see they can do it if uh, if you use the same name for the superclass also if you use the same name for the uh, subclass also uh, the uh, feature can be override see this is the example display display of all the subclasses can be override this display of the superclass can be overridden by the subclasses that is possible if subclass may override a superclass feature by defining a feature with the same name right why we have to do this means mainly in simple words to improve the performance we can do that not only the attributes you can override the operations also right hope you are getting guys suppose if you have any doubts no worries please post your doubts in the comment section thank you thank you for watching the video